Hi everyone, today I am going to be sharing with you a really cool collaboration that I never saw coming. This is Avon by The Face Shop. This is a collection that launched just recently and it makes my heart flutter because I've been loving Avon for their authentic roots and really fun loving um, essentials and just the fact that they've been around forever and they make really, you know, makeup that ladies want and some cool stuff for the younger generation too. The Face Shop is a K-beauty brand that I've also known for a very long time and I really just didn't expect these two brands to come together because Avon for me is uh, kind of a buy from home catalog brand that you can also find online and the face shop just seems very niche kind of in store and I guess that's why they pair together so well. Now I have a few products from this collection then I also have some of their uh, skincare this is makeup and in addition to that I have some new products that just came in today um, more skincare and like that traditional K-beauty fresh from uh, you know Korea products that come in the most lovely packaging so I'm gonna get started with this little cute skincare trial pack here so one part of this collection that is not foreign to me is the Dr. Belmer collection um, and this is the Sika recovery cream something that's stands out for me uh, in terms of the face shop is the fact that they truly take skincare seriously in that all their ingredients are non-stripping, gentle for the skin. I think I've tried maybe one or two cleansers that are a bit too harsh, but in general um, the things that I've tried most recently have been great. I did a full review on this Dr. Belmer collection that I'll link below and this was one of my favorite products. It's a very thick luxurious cream that you want to put on clean clean skin because if you put a thick cream on um, skin that's not totally clean that has some makeup or dirt on it still could cause breakouts but an amazing product for the winter something that truly protects your skin and helps repair uh, especially in colder weather and stuff I love this and look at the little sample size especially for when I'm traveling I like to find sample sizes of uh, products that I already know I like because I've been in situations where I bring a brand new cleanser moisturizer away and it does not work and then I'm stranded using like body soap for my face. I've been there <laughs> probably more than once and it is not good. So anyways, find stuff that you like and then get it in the little trial size. That's what I like about shopping, um, you know, department stores or online, Shoppers Drug Mart, Sephora, because then you can find those mini samples and hopefully of things that you already know you'll like. So then there are two more products here that are um, cleansers. We have the Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser for the face. I haven't tried these yet, but I'm excited to see how it goes. And then the Black Rose Body Scrub and Cleanser. This is a nice size. I think this would be good for about a week away. Um, really cute packaging too. This is the Oil Blending Cream. There are actually two phases in here. There's like a clear gel and then a moisturizer, like a thick cream at the bottom, and you're supposed to mix it up and then apply it. This did not come with a spatula, but the full size does. Um, this would be really fun. It could also be used like as a nice um, hydrating mask, and it's made in Korea for Avon, so what a fun collab. Now for the makeup, it came packaged in this beautiful box. It's all black and really sleek looking. I also love how there is like the color sticker on top. Now this really brings me back to, oh my God, years ago when I started shopping on eBay. Um, Amazon did not have, you know, beauty products. You really could only find stuff on eBay. I would buy the Skin 79 BB Cream. I have bought like five of these, I swear, because now I just keep it as uh, nail polish, <laughs> nail art storage, but I could not find a BB cream quite like this. My skin could be a total mess and then I would just put a layer of it on and it would fix my skin, hydrate, cover, reduce redness, it would go on kind of gray and then uh, adjust to the perfect skin tone shade. So I've bought so many authentic BB creams off of eBay in the past and it's just so fun to see things like that um, more mainstream. Ta-da! Ooh, so satisfying. Wow, it looks like a record almost. It's like such a nice finish. 
Ooh, beautiful. So this is the ink uh, lasting cushion. It has a little button here, mirror and sponge. I'm actually just gonna apply this to my face using a Q-tip because I don't think the shade is gonna be the perfect match. So it has the seal here. I'm just gonna tap my Q-tip in. Yeah, it's a really dark shade. But I'll just uh, swatch it on my cheek to show you. I just applied some of the cushion foundation to uh, my jawline here. It is obviously a really dark shade. I have it in M30. Um, it's like that weightless veil of coverage. I don't particularly love applying foundation like in this method in a cushion format with the a firm sponge here because I find it's too hard to get into the crease of my nose around my eyes Just find that I'm I'm there just like poking myself with the edge of the sponge um, But it is a great touch-up product if you don't like a heavy powder or you know fiddling with concealer This is awesome. You can just tap it onto the areas that you need it It does tend to have a pretty matte finish this one at least and uh, it's supposed to be long lasting. So that's a great option if you do like that method of applying makeup or if you just wear light makeup, this is a great, great, great option. And I think they have 18 shades, I believe. So many options, light, medium, deep in um, cool, neutral, and warm tones. What I am excited to try is this moisture cushion blush. I love this packaging. It has the really cute mirror inside, a little sponge. Ooh, wow, oh my gosh, it's dark blue. It truly feels so velvety smooth. Okay, and then we have the cushion right here. Cushions are very bulky, um, but if you can get around that, no problem. I think this actually might all come apart. Anyways, um, another hot tip, if your cushion gets dry, you can actually pull it out with tweezers, flip it around, stick it back in, and then you might get a bit more moisture out of it. I'm gonna try a bit of this blush onto my cheek just using this little Quo blender sponge. I've wet the sponge a bit and I'm gonna just tap it onto my cheek. Oh wow, this color is very, very beautiful. It blends great actually. Not patchy at all. Stunning. Wow, I don't know if you can see the difference there. Really pretty. It smells very good. Mm, it smells like a little bit fruity. Everything about this, so chic. Okay, moving on, we have a primer. This is their lasting primer. No smell at all, it's actually quite runny. Stunning packaging, really, really luxe looking. The price on this one is $30. Mind you, I find that on the Avon website, everything goes on a pretty good sale every now and then. There are so many other primers too. There's the Lumiere for dull skin, pale pink uh, for pink tones, pink skin, lavender for sallow, mint for uneven skin. They also have the Cushion Blush in three shades. I have the Coral, there's red and pink as well. The red would be very good for dark skin tones. Look at that. We also have the Moisture Cushion Highlighter, very nice for dry skins, especially in the winter. Oh, you could even put that like almost all over your face under foundation, that'd be gorgeous. A la Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Okay, there's also these ink lip tints, and I love Avon's matte lips, matte lipsticks. So this looks exactly like the YSL lip paints. Finally, I have my Dare to be Square Flat Velvet Lipstick. I have it in the shade Fluffy Pink. Very cute. Happy it's a pink shade because I'm not quite into darks or reds. Hmm, very smooth. I just have some balm on. Easy to apply with that rounded tip. This is a very pretty shade. The texture is good. Um, it's not clinging to any dryness. Let's see how much product's in there. It's a roll up, which is very nice. And the very the packaging is very sleek. Oh, there's a decent amount in here. Oh, keeps going. There you go. That's how much product there is. And it doesn't take too much to uh, give you full coverage. Moving right along to my last segment here. This is the Mango Seed Advanced Radiant Moisturizing Oil. This packaging is fantastic. I love the frosted bottle. And I also like how you can actually see how much product is left in there. The oil itself is so lightweight. It feels a lot like squalene oil, so I'll have to put all the ingredients in my review below. It almost smells like one of those squishy mango gummy 
candies that you can get. Along the same lines, I have a moisturizing mango seed butter. This looks fabulous. It comes with this cute little spatula and a nice jar here. Not travel friendly, but really nice to keep on your bathroom counter. Oh, beautiful cream. It has a bit of that mango floral scent to it, and it looks gorgeous. I'll just scrape some of the product that's on the little cap here onto my hand. Oh, oh it's very luxurious. It's actually not as thick as the Sika Repair Cream. Oh, it feels super luxe. There's something to be said about creams that have oils in them and using those, especially in the winter, because I find that my skin can just become unquenchably dry, irritated, flaky in the winter. And once your skin is dehydrated, that's when excess oil happens, that's when breakouts happen. But apparently if you have too much water on your skin, it can actually freeze in very cold temperatures and uh, harm your skin cells. So wearing a more oily product is good especially if it's very cold because then it can protect your skin from like bursting skin cells. I don't know. I'll leave some uh, research down below if I can find it, but regardless, I do find that even applying makeup on top of skin that has a good layer of moisturizer on it just looks fresher, nicer. You end up using less product. It doesn't get as cakey. Final product, guys, I'm so excited about this. This is a youth activating massager for the face made in Korea. All this stuff is made in Korea, which makes me so happy. This is a very uh, interesting looking device here that you roll onto your skin. Oh, I've never done this before. Whoa. Okay. It almost like, whoa, do you see that? It almost like pulls your face into it with these like rollers. I need to wash it now. Oh my God. It feels so good. So you literally just roll upwards and it's supposed to, oh yeah. Oh, it's like tones your skin, improves circulation. I like it. You probably shouldn't roll it on your eyes, but oh my god. It feels super good, guys. We hold so much stress in our facial muscles. I like this because it does even more than a jade roller. You just like hug the grooves of your face. Yes, this is a winner. Anyways, that's all for my... <laughs> I'm ready for bed now. That's all for my little skincare roundup right here. I love K-Beauty, always have, always will, and I can't wait to review these in more depth for you guys. So thank you for watching. Leave any comments or questions below, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.